First Drive, 2019 Aston Martin UB11 Volante. Achingly pretty, the drop-top DB11 is a grand tour for the ages. As the speedometer needle creeps upwards, well into the triple digits, the forceful shove against our backs doesn't seem to diminish much. In fact, the open cabin, roof down, side and quarter windows up, remains eerily calm as an indicated 160 km per hour flashes on the digital display of the 2019 Aston Martin's UB11 Volante. As we hit 190 km per hour, 180 miles per hour, I mention the impressive cabin serenity to my drive partner, automobile contributor Basin Waste. He agreed, as an open top grand tour, the DB11 Volante is amazingly adept, with near coupe light come inside. The name Volante alone conjures up imagery of great Aston drop tops to come before and the DB11 seems poised to continue the tradition. Since the coupe was launched a couple years back, the convertible version has been all but a given, and now it's here. In fact, Aston has been taking pre-orders for the DB11 Volante for several months and US deliveries are expected to start in June. It's not always an easy job to make a good-looking coupe-based convertible, especially when you're starting with the DB11 coupe, where the flowing, contoured roof seems an integral part of the striking design. And so, in creating the Volante, engineers and stylists did much more than just lop off the car's hands a chapel. The DB11's rear deck lid was massaged and contoured, the folding top mechanism compacted to allow for the lowest profile possible, and the dramatic rear fender flares are creased just a bit lower on the car's flying mix. The changes give make for congruent aesthetics for the Volante while improving wind noise and aerodynamics. Other changes from coupe to convertible include a stiffer windshield surround to comply with rollover standards. A strengthened rear cross member, which is located near the rear shock mounts and improves their functionality as a side benefit. And more structural reinforcement in the sills and the tray underneath the engine. There's also some blackout trim up front and a prominent gloss black splitter, along with new wheels that shave approximately 6.4 pounds off the coupe's set. The 8-layer insulated fabric top electronically unfolds from under its metal cover in just 14 seconds and stows back away in 16 seconds with minimum or mechanical noise. The top operates at speeds up to 31 miles per hour and can also be folded remotely via key fob. Aston Martin says the top's compact structure allows for some 20% more cargo space in the trunk than in the DB9 Volante. Under the aluminum clamshell style hood of the DB11 Volante is AMG's potent twin turbocharged, 4.0-liter, 90-degree V8, producing 503 horsepower and 513 pounds to foot of torque. While the engine is built completely at AMG without involvement from Aston Martin, the English brand did design all the cooling components located in the ample space ahead of the engine, as well as the bespoke exhaust system, which was tuned to give the car a more Aston Martin appropriate note. While the engine features a dry sump in Mercedes AMG applications, a wet sump was mandated for the DB11 for packaging considerations. The transmission is ZF's excellent 8-speed auto, which frankly works well enough as to render a fancy dual-clutch unit wholly unnecessary, especially in this class of vehicle. Underneath, the DB11 Volante gets a few suspension tweaks given its 242-pound weight increase, mostly thanks to the car's added structural reinforcement. The rear anti-roll bar has also been reduced in diameter by 0.4 mm and rear shock rates have been tweaked to account for the car's slightly stiffer rear structure. Weight distribution is 47.53% front, rear, compared with 49.51 in the V8 powered coupe and 51.49 in the V12 powered one. Enough with the specs. How does this DB11 Volante drive, you ask? Quite sublimely, actually. Even if the Volante loses an ounce of stiffness to the coupe despite the added structural elements, you would be hard-pressed to tell on most roads. The car feels very much of a piece, devoid of cowl shake or any feeling of any slop from the chassis. The AMG V8 is a lovely engine, torquey, brutish and eager with plenty of pops and bangs accompanying the rapid manual downshifts from the gearbox. Power is very strong and wide.